so I'm thinking about YouTube and what a phenomenal platform it is, an awesomely capable platform, and its reach is immense, its capability is titanic, it's absolutely a phenomenal instrument in our society. It is difficult to conceive of just how awesome an entity YouTube has become. Its reach and its power is unsurpassed and there is no competitor that could possibly approach YouTube's dominance. So we should be very concerned about this. Um, <clears throat> rather than being negative for the sake of it, there's simply a realisation of the awesome power that YouTube now commands. On a personal level, I started a project dealing with the prevalence of feminism in our society and my material regarding this subject has been um, regarded as offensive and difficult to... to um, be managed, in other words, allowed on YouTube, um, and it's been subject to YouTube policies restricting content. Um, what this exhibits, it shows the awesome power that YouTube now commands. Because YouTube has such extensive reach and is so dominant in the, sp in the entertainment space and the education space, we, we should be very concerned about the power that YouTube commands. Obviously, YouTube seeks to maintain its dominant position and so it's very careful about how it operates. But we also need to be careful in how we utilise YouTube and how we manage YouTube. It's hard to think that we have control of YouTube in the sense that a country, whatever, would normally have control over a business. Um, YouTube is bigger than a national government. It simply has more reach, more power. It, it can reach more people, it can influence more people than any national government, I would think. The... the, the people that have created this entity are awesome examples of human humanity. The YouTube phenomenon is insurmountable. It is uh, an entity which has awesome power and awesome reach. Of course, it has to be careful in order to avoid any comeback, if you like, but the policies they put in place and the way it operates and enforces those policies 
means that it is an entity which is unassailable. It simply has no competitor. And I, I don't see any way that any other entity can control YouTube or manage it in any way. It's an operation that only ha owes loyalty and, if you like, to itself. There was nothing that can compete with YouTube and the amount of money it must generate is obviously in the hundreds of billions annually and so there is no way to handle or manage YouTube. It is a force unto itself and it will look after itself in any way that it sees fit. Now, I don't know myself how YouTube is managed, but I imagine there's a cadre of people, a, a, a relatively small number of people who run YouTube, who own YouTube, and direct it and are responsible for its development and its ownership, if you like. I don't know how, how large this number of people is uh, who or who they are, but um, basically YouTube is an awesome entity in its own right directed by people, relatively small number of people. And so it's managed to achieve a status which is unassailable and incredibly powerful. And although I say we should be very concerned about this, I also said that there's nothing we can do about it really. It's just awesome and unassailable. So I don't know what this means, necess means necessarily for how we live, but um, it's a fundamental right. Um, it's a fundamental um, fact of life that we have to deal with it in the same way, I suppose, that we have to deal with the concept of a god, for example. It simply is. And there really needs to be for any sense of honesty in our society, there needs to be a competitor to YouTube. But there are some other video services out there, but they cannot compete with YouTube. Um, I can't think of many of the top of my head, but I think Daily Motion, for example, is one of them. But None of these other organisations come close to the reach and power of YouTube. Um, I think we should be worried and scared, basically, about what this can mean. I've experienced this the issue of the power of YouTube personally because of material that I've att attempted to present on the nature of feminism and the consequences of feminism's influence. But obviously 
the issue of YouTube's dominance extends to virtually any topic you can think about. And YouTube is a phenomenal service and it comes with it phenomenal power and we should be very worried about what this means. I don't see any solution necessarily. It exists as a fact of life now. But awareness is still important. I don't know what that can achieve necessarily, but um, it's something to address a, a fundamental part of life now and a way to be aware and manage the reality of it.